Hi, I'm Katie. Recently, over the winter, we had some mice come into our house. Since, of course, we didn't want to kill the mice, we looked into humane options to catch them. Here is my humane mousetrap review and how-to. So here is the trap that I used after doing research and trying different types of humane traps. The company is Southern Homewares. This is called the Multi-Catch Clear Top Humane Repeater Mousetrap. And I put a link in the description so you can find it for yourself. I will say right off the bat for my review, I highly recommend this trap. The top is clear plastic, so you can see if you've caught anything. Some other traps don't have this feature. This trap is also very easy to use, and I like the fact that it lets you know when you've caught something. On the sides are the air holes. And this is where the mice enter from, these two sides over here. It opens up like this. So the mice run in from the sides, and then they can't get out. And basically, once you have mice in your trap, you take this thing outside, and you just open it up and release them. Now, it's recommended that rodents be released within 100 yards of where they were captured. If you take them somewhere far away, they won't be able to find food and shelter, and they'll probably die anyways. When you catch and release them, it's important to release them in a familiar area. Of course, that being said, make sure you find how they got into your house and plug up the hole before you start trapping and releasing mice. It's also small and compact. There are homemade mouse traps that you can make with a large bucket, but I didn't have the space for those. This trap here is small enough to fit into tight spaces. It's best to place the trap somewhere that you know the mice have been. For me, in my situation, that would mean the attic. And as you can see, I needed something small that I can carry with me through a crawl space. When you're done using it, either store it open or plug up the entrances. If you put it away on a shelf or in a cabinet somewhere and you're not paying attention, you don't want mice to get in and starve to death and you only find it like eight months later. That would be horrible. Now, the interesting thing is that these traps don't need bait, but I am putting some food in there anyways to attract the mice. These are my pros and cons of the mouse trap. It's easy to use. It can hold up to 30 mice. You don't need bait. It's small and compact, so that's good for tight spaces. I like the clear top. You can see inside, you know, if you have mice. It's reusable. A lot of the traps that I found in the stores are disposable. They're one-time use traps. And my favorite aspect about this is that it's humane and it really works. The cons, you need to take precautions when storing it so mice don't get inside and starve to death. And it's not the easiest to clean. Tips on use, check the trap often, so I check it every day. If I catch something, I release it outside. And then keep using the trap for a month, even if you don't trap anything for a few weeks, just to make sure that all the mice are gone. I have caught a total of six mice so far. I'm releasing them into the park next to my house, and I have to say, they are really cute. And there you have it, that's my review of the Southern Homewares Multi-Catch Clear Top Humane Repeater Mouse Trap. Honestly, this mouse trap worked perfectly for me. I'm very satisfied with this product and I recommend it. Thank you for watching and good luck if you have mice in your house. Good luck trapping them.